This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. If else if else statements according to the table below display the appropriate discount price to the user depending on the values of the following variables promo code write type is weakened ah okay so now we're going to be setting this up for great let's see where we're doing this i think it's yes okay and they're going to want us to do this using an if yep an else if Yep, an if and an else if and an else if. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab this guy to start and bloop. Now, what do I wanna evaluate first? Well, promo code, if it's first ride, and then if the vehicle is a bike, it's val it, and any day is acceptable. Okay, so I know I need an and and, right? Because I need to know if the promo code is first ride and the vehicle is a bike, because only then can uh, this uh, go into effect. And what's our promo code variable? Ah, that's handy, it's promo code. And it's promo code, so I'm gonna do that one first. Uh, let me grab a couple double equal signs, bloop, and bloop. All right, so promo, and make sure to capitalize the C just like they had it. And uh, make sure to put your promo code in quotes. This is a string. Now remember, computers are picky. It has to be exactly with the capitals and everything, no space. So variables never go in quotes, but our strings, our words and sentences do. It's a value. All right, and now the vehicle, uh, what did we call that variable? Ride type, cool. And so now I'm gonna do ride type, and then again, in quotes, the word bike with a capital B. So if it is that, what is their discount? It's $2 off. So I'm gonna go ahead then and go to variables here because I need to change price. So price is now gonna be equal to what price used to be equal to minus two. So the computer will get to this and be like, oh, okay, so price has a new value. What's its new value? It's the old value of price minus two and it will set us up to update. Now I need two more L if blocks. So bloop and bloop. Next up, we have a promo of study move. Okay. And either vehicle, so I don't need to specify that, but it can't be a weekend. Alrighty. Let me head over here. Boom. And a couple equals here. There we are. Study move. And it cannot be a weekend. So then I'm going to use my not operator. Right. And what I'm going to say is, what's that variable? Is it just, oh, no, we made the is weaken variable. Perfect. We're going to use that. So if, um, I don't even need to say true. I'm thinking about this. Yeah, I can do is, I can do is not a weekend. There's a few ways to do this. Is weekend. This is a not. So this says not a weekend, right? This is a correct way. I've also seen students do this. That works as well. But the cleanest way is this, but it's kind of fancy. You do you is not a weekend. That's what that means. So if it's not a weekend and their promo code's this, what do we do? Mm, we're going to take three bucks off. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, what this does, this not uh, negation operator, is that if weekend is weekend is true, this says flip it. So if weekend's true, this suddenly becomes false. If weekend's false, this suddenly becomes true, which is what we want because in an if else, we need and an and and both sides have to be true. So if the weekend is false with the not operator, it flips that to be a true value. And if these are both true, then they get the discount. All right, now we're going to mess with price again. And price is going to be equal to price, what it used to be equal to, but this time minus three. All right, one more weekend scoot, right type scooter. And oh, that's a complicated one. So we have three different conditions here. All right, let's get to it. So and, 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 and. I'm actually going to switch to text mode. We don't need all of these parentheses. You can stay in non-text mode if you want, but I'm switching to text mode. And first up, I'm checking. 
All right, let me flip this back to block mode to see what I did. So promo code is equal to weekend scoot, ride type is equal to scooter, and is weekend. Keep in mind, is weekend is a Boolean. So if it is true, this renders is true. I have seen students also do the equal equals, is weekend equal equals true. That's technically correct. This is a bit cleaner way. And so now we're going to mess with price of all that. Price is going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to, minus one. Now let me kill off this extra thingy. Bloop. I think we're looking good. Let's give this a test. That's awesome. Oh, I need to change this. Great. Correct. And awesome. We are doing good. Onward. 